Hello children, in this second video of lesson 1, the rise of nationalism in Europe. In this video, I am going to explain you about the French Revolution and the idea of the nation. And we will see steps creating sense of collective identity among French people by Napoleon Bonaparte. In the previous video, I had explained you about the painting of Frederick Serio, which developed the feeling of nationalism and the feeling of nation state among Europeans country. So children, the first clear and the first clear expression of nationalism came with the French Revolution in 1789. Children, which you studied in 9th class in the French Revolution chapter. Do you remember it? Let's see in detail about the French Revolution. If you see the first point, the French Revolution started in 1789. Nine. France was a full-fledged territorial state in 1789 under rule of a monarch. Means at that time, the France, it was ruled by the Louis XVI. Do you remember children? Next, if you see, political and constitutional change that came in the wake of the French Revolution led to the transfer to a sovereignty from a monarchy to a body of French citizen. Means, in France, National Assembly was created and power was given to the National Assembly by the French people. If you see next point, it also powered revolution in all Europe. Means in Europe, every country were influenced and wanted its own constitution. Children, if you see the idea of the nationalism, it came due to the various measures introduced by the French Revolution. And if you see the words, the La Patrick, La Citoyen, these words are of French, means these words are taken from French. The La Patrick means fatherland. The La Citoyen means citizen. Hymns, oath, uniform system of weight and measurement, use of Persian French, if you see last, imaginary female characters were used to show united nation such as Germania, which you are seeing in the figure. Because earlier, people, they were not that much educated. So to spread the feeling of nationalism, love towards the country, patriotism, and only one way was there, just through the image, through the allegory, or through these words. So let's see all points in detail. The first clear expression of nationalism came with the French Revolution in 1789. Children, do you remember three slogans of French Revolution? Liberty, Fraternity and Equality. These three words change the world scenario. Everywhere, in every country, people, they were struggling for these three words. Means Liberty, Fraternity, Equality. Every people want equal respect. Every people want that they should be treated equally with other people. If you see in second point, the political and constitutional changes means due to French Revolution, there was total change in political system of France and the political system changed the constitution of France that came in the wake of French Revolution. It led to the transfer of sovereignty from the monarchy to a body of French citizen. That means monarchy had been replaced by a democratic system where people of France would, would take their own decision means the government will be chosen by the people. If you see third point, the idea of La Patrick which I had explained in previous slide means the fatherland. It is a French word then La Citoyen the citizen emphasized the nation of a united community enjoying equal rights under a constitution means enjoying equal rights under a constitution means all people should be treated equally and they should be equal in the eyes of law. If you see fourth point, the state general was elected by the body of active citizen. Children, do you remember this, this word active citizen and other word passive citizen? You studied in 9th class. Passive citizen had no voting rights. 
in passive citizen women children and youth below 55 comes under it whereas in active citizen they were entitled to vote and only about 25 years of age who paid taxes equal to at least three days of labor wages they come under the active citizen and rename means all the efforts they rename the national assembly means it is the parliament of france if you see fifth point if you see internal customs duties and dues were abolished and a uniform system of weight and measurement were adopted and all these for all this system credit goes to napoleon bonaparte if you see six point the revolutionary further declared that it was the mission and the destiny of the french nation to liberate the people of europe from despotism means now the overall that the france means french people they were taking responsibility to remove the despotism all these revolutionaries participated in the french revolution they liberated the people of france from despotism means the autocratic rules which when they were ruled by the king rules louis XVI. students and other members of educated middle classes began setting up jacobin clubs i have explained you about jacobin club it is nothing it is a political club where people sit together discuss government policies and plan their own form of action if you see next their activities here i am explaining about activities of jacobin club and campaigns prepare the way for the french army which moved into holland belgium switzerland and much of italy in 1719 and their motive was only they were spreading the idea of nationalism means liberty fraternity equality and the administrative reform which were set by the napoleon bonaparte if you see nine point the french armies began to carry the idea of nationalism abroad and if you see in this 10 point through a through a return to monarchy means due to reign of terror and after directory rules again monarch written under the leadership of napoleon means napoleon had no doubt destroyed democracy in france but in the administrative field he had incorporated revolution revolutionary principles in order to make the whole system more rational and efficient no doubt his efforts his step still it is been remembered by us all these administrative reforms were under were done under napoleon bonaparte let's move to the next topic if you see here civil code of 18 north 4 means it was introduced by napoleon bonaparte it is also called napoleonic code of 18 north 4 as it was introduced by napoleon bonaparte if you see here it is a figure of napoleon bonaparte in 18 north 4 napoleon bonaparte crowned himself emperor of france napoleon see children napoleon himself what he was seeing at that time he saw his role as a modernizer of europe he introduced many laws so let's see his law first written of monarchy second administrative reform third if you see equality before law right to property then fourth removal of guilt restriction in towns then improvement in transport and communication uniform law weight and measure measurement and national rules so let's move to the next if you see civil code of 1804 introduced by napoleon it has some very important features many times it came in board exam also let's see one by one in detail first point the civil code of 1804 usually known as napoleon code did away with all privileges based on birth established equality before the law and secure the right to property means did away here means children remove means he had taken all the privileges which were based on birth children all the privileges means he has 
he had taken all privileges from first estate and second estate people who were getting who were getting rights on the basis of birth it it was taken by him if you see next all peoples were equal before the law and all people of france have right to property of french people if you see in second point napoleon simplified administrative division abolished the feudal system children feudal system is similar to the zamindari system as we have in india in india we call it zamindari system whereas in france they call it feudal system and see children napoleon freed peasant from serfdom and manorial rules means he took some positive step or for the welfare of serfdom and manorial dues then if you see third point transport and communication system were improved means he has improved in transport and communication system not only in agriculture system but in transport and communication and this serfdom and manorial definition you will see in important term also if you see next all the businessmen and small scale producer of goods in particular begin to rely that uniform law uniform law means the equal laws standardized weight and measurement and a common national currency would facilitate the government means it will be helpful in the views of administrative system and the movement and the exchange of good and the capital from one region to another it was major step taken by the napoleon bonaparte for the welfare of the people and for the economic of france next if you see in many places such as holland and the switzerland brussels mainz milan warsaw the french armies were welcome as harbinger of liberty here harbinger means heroes of liberty children harbingers wanted to spread liberty fraternity and equality everywhere in european country but it became clear that the new administrative arrangement did not go hand in hand with political freedom means a new administrative system which was started by napoleon bonaparte was not adopted or followed by the political people of europe if you see seventh point see reason also children increased taxation censorship means things could be shown to the people only which will be liked by the ruling government so censorship it was started again by the napoleon bonaparte then you see forced conscriptions into the french army required to conquer the rest of the europe all seems to outweigh the advantages of administrative changes means deliberately four army try to conquer rest of europe so what had happened so result will be that that the advantages of administrative reform means the reform which was done by napoleon bonaparte all his efforts when futile and vain so let's see important terms children all are important from examination point of view so listen it carefully and try to understand so first jacobin club a group of students and other members members of educated middle class in france actually it was a political club where people together discuss government policies plan their own forms of action second french revolution 14 july 1789 you studied where the french people they attacked on bastille fort then active citizen people who have right to vote and about active and passive citizen i had explained you in this video only then you see despotism the exercise of absolute power by king means children king is supreme he has divine power then see serfdom system under which peasants were forced to live and work under the feudal lord means the peasants who are working who are working on their farm they work under the under the landlord and they are called serf then see manorial dues are the fees or taxes that the peasants or serf 
farmer owe to the nobles who is their landlord then sovereignty means the power that a country has to control its own government its power which is given to the country by the citizen to control the government children see this video again and again and clear your doubts then read this topic from book then everything will be clear to you till then stay home take care and be happy thank you